Hey everyone, this is Kathy with Scrapping Days. I wanted to do a quick little tutorial for you on the print and cut feature as well as the fill feature on the Silhouette Cameo. Um, I was doing a layout of my son. It's basically sailing related and I used some Webster's Pages paper line. Uh, this particular piece had a picture of a boat wheel on it, but it wasn't this wood color that I wanted. So I'm like, well, I'll just uh, use my silhouette to cut it out. And that's what I did. Um, I designed it on the silhouette and told it to print it. And then I used the print and cut feature that was available on that also. And if you're not familiar with that, maybe this will help a little bit. Uh, so let me show you quickly how to do that. Okay, I opened up my program and up here in the right hand corner there's like a little box that has like a, a little inner red line. That is your tool page so you click on that and it brings up this menu right here and I'm going to select letter size. So that changes the look of my mat and page over here. So then I will go to my library. There's a library, little book page, kind of looks like an open book. Click on your library. I'm going to click this design that says sail away and that brings up the image here. I don't want the sail away part, I just want the boat wheel. So what I'm going to do is separate these images and since it's already got the little lines drawn around it, I can come down here in this left hand corner. There's a little piece down here that's highlighted in red. That is the ungroup button. So I'm going to ungroup my images and that puts more lines around each image. So then I can take just my boat. and move it, excuse me, boat wheel, and move it up here to the left hand top corner. Let me move it over here real quick and I'm going to group these two back together, the sail away part. I'll draw a box around it, come back down here um, to this far left red box that's now highlighted click on that and group that back together because I want to move that totally off the page. So I will move it off over here. Let me get back to my matte picture. Okay, now I can click on my wheel and move it anywhere on this that I like. I'll just put it up here in the corner. So currently it's white on the mat of course, uh, depending on what color paper I wanted to use. I could cut it out in a brown paper, but that's not what I want. I want it to look like wood. So I am going to fill in that image with a wood pattern. So up here in my toolbar, it looks like a little box filled with blue polka dots. I'm not sure if it'll be blue polka dots all the time, but it's kind of like almost in the center of your toolbar. And when I place my arrow on it, it says open and fill pattern window. So I'm going to click on that. So it brings up all these wonderful fill patterns that are built in to the program. And there is one there that looks like wood. So I'm going to click on that. And it says cherry light. Perfect. Well, I'm not going to hang on a second. Let me highlight my wheel first. So I highlighted my wheel and then I come and click on my wood pattern. And ta-da! It filled in my wheel with the cherry wood look. So I would now print it, but before I print it I want registration marks on my paper because then I'm going to come back and place it on my cutting mat and use the cut and print feature. So up here in the right hand corner it looks like three corner pieces. You click on that. It brings up a new menu 
And at the very top of that menu it says show registration marks. So you would click on that. And now you can print. And of course over here in your bar is a print button. Click on that. So hit print. So it's going to send it to the printer with the registration marks. So while it's doing that, and of course if you have the printer that prints the nice size 12 by 12, you could do that too without changing your paper size or anything like that. But to save paper, I just chose the 8 by 11 and this is just on a regular piece of paper this is not even on cardstock but anyway here it is registration mark up here in the corner registration mark down here in this corner and one over here so that when you come and to your file menu up here in the left hand corner and you say send to silhouette of course, I don't have mine connected right now. Uh, when you hit your cut setting, I think it asks you to, you know, pick up the registration marks. If you have any questions about this, if I went too fast for you, just text me, message me. Uh, you can message me through uh, Scrapping Days. Uh, blogspot.com or through scrappingdays.ning.com and I will try to answer your questions. Um, but this is a great feature for the silhouette because if you want to cut letters, anything, you can practically fill it with any color that you want. I could have made this wheel with polka dot Swiss whatever or flowers. Um, but anyway, Thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Thanks.